Greetings YouTube, this is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. It is September 8th. It is a uh, status report video. Um, we've got lots of things going on and not enough time to do it in. But I wanted to let you know what was going on. We've got, I've got some straightening to do with these um, couple of three or four murder swords. They're not too bad. These were um, laser cut and then ground, no, laser cut, annealed, then ground, and they went in the heat treated, and the blade bricks pretty straight. The handle's got a little bend in it, but I can fix that, because I have a handy dandy arbor press, as you see here, and there's a Kodiak sword that's just been water jet cut that I'm straightening a little bit before I send it out to be annealed. You would think that water jet cutting steel would relieve stresses and then allow a blade to stay maybe pretty much straight after you ground it. Um, but that's not the case. Here's another Kodiak that was laser cut, then annealed, then ground, and then heat treated. That is much straighter than what I've experienced with well, here's some 5160 swords, actually. This stack of four is 5160. I might be able to fix that, but I don't know how 5160 is gonna act when I try to bend it. The problem, all this arises with when you roll steel, because you, you impart um, asymmetrical forces to a piece of steel and it ends up having stress on one side and less on the other. So, what you end up with when you have a really bad example of this is this noodle taco shape. So this piece was water jet cut and then ground and then heat treated. And it turned very, very crooked. So this is a tonto that a customer requested to be very, very sharp on the spine. And so I'm gonna have to kneel this and then straighten it and then heat treat it again. Same goes for these. These aren't as bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in and be annealed as well. I learned that also with these little blades. The new uh, chef's knife wasn't so bad in terms of its bend, but it's still a little crooked even though I straightened it. And then most of these that I made were kind of crooked and I, I was able to straighten them. This is the new knife with the, for, with the prehensile hilts. And um, I kind of want to call it a koala because it's like a little bear. I mean, prehensile is a marsupial trait. And koalas don't have that. So really this is kind of a possum, possum knife or I don't know, maybe a monkey has a prehensile tail. Perhaps this knife should be made named after a monkey. Anyway, I'd like to hear ideas. But because it's in the um, it's a clip point Bowie style blade, I'd like to I'd love to name it some kind of bear name, but I never heard of a bear with a long prehensile tail. Let me know if you have any ideas. Uh, the whole series of knives, the chef knife. The dagger, the dagger's gonna be the prehensile crow. But I haven't got any names for the other ones yet. The sheath turned out really well. I spent more time than I should have developing this. It has a slot down the middle for standoffs of these two rivets or um, screws. And uh, belt loop can go either way. Um, you could also put a mouse clip on the middle and then there's a slot at the bottom that both allows for the drain hole to have access which you can't really see in this light and it also um, can allow you to run a half inch strap through it. Um, this rotary table that all these things are sitting on is almost finished. I've got to make, I've got to draw on it with this array of tomahawks so I can do all my different polishing operations 
with my Dyna file for this batch. That's a stack of stuff right there. Um, all these tomahawks will get their underhook edges finished ground on this table, probably with Dynafile. I'd love to take the time out and, and build a better grinding system, but I know that a lot of folks are waiting a long time, and so I want to get it done. So I'm going to spend the next week and a half on this project, as well as trying to prep some swords for uh, for Sarah coating, like this one in particular is going to go out because it's already paid for. And then there's several other things that need to go out. Um, Oliver, your 5160 swords, um, we'll see how straight they get. And then George, uh, this is the um, lightweight murder model that I did for you. It's kind of a dagger. so. Let me know what you think of that profile. It's convex all the way, but it looks kind of like a big spearhead. Um, that's about it right now. Just lots of stuff to do, just me to do it. So hopefully I'll be able to keep you all happy with fun, fun cutting tools. All right, until next time. Probably a week and a half or two weeks, I will send another uh, update and then um, see how far I got. Fun, fun, fun. Adios.